What's going on everybody? It's Jeremy and I know I have not uploaded to this channel in forever but I am going to change that very soon starting now and if you like this video please share the video please like the video help get some traction. I don't think I've uploaded this channel in over a month maybe even two months so I don't know if anybody's going to get notifications or anything like that but I appreciate all of you being subscribed to this channel and I plan on bringing you more content. So let's jump right into it. Project Veritas James O'Keefe breaking yet another huge story exposing the garbage mainstream media and the garbage known as the Clintons and uh, this one right here man I mean so basically uh, ABC's ABC News anchor Amy Robot gets just destroyed by a hot mic and you can listen to her talking on this hot mic about the Epstein situation it's so bad I mean, you could see how comfortable she is talking about it because this is her true thoughts. This is not the version that you get, the fake news version that you get when the cameras are on. They've also released a statement, ABC News is backtracking like crazy. She's backtracking like crazy. Seriously, if you're still supporting the Clintons, if you still believe the Clintons are even somewhat decent people, what the fuck is wrong with you? I'm not even going to not cuss. What the fuck is wrong with you? Seriously, I mean, I'm blown away by this, but let's listen to this right now. So do I think he was killed? A hundred percent. Yes, I do. Because you want he made his whole living blackmailing people. There were a lot of men in those planes, a lot of men who visited that island, a lot of powerful men who came into that apartment. I mean, when I heard he was found in his cell, so I knew immediately. <clears throat> and they made it seem as though he made that suicide attempt two weeks earlier, but his lawyers claimed that he was roughed up by his cellmate around the neck. That was all, like, to plant the seed, and then that's why I really believe it. Like, really believe it. And if you want to go to see the whole thing, it's on Project Veritas. It's on their YouTube channel right now. Uh, Epstein cover up is a hashtag right now that Twitter has been doing everything they can to to to, to make this go away. Uh, it, it's bad. I mean, and, and you want to go to over to James O'Keefe's uh, uh, Twitter account and follow him because this is there's so much. I need to give him a follow right now. I'm gonna follow him. Um, but it, this is so bad. Uh. The Epstein cover-up, ABC News, hot mic bombshell is the at Twitter banner right now. And it looks like Disney can't spend enough money to sponsor itself above the trend. Uh, oh, the irony. Uh, citizen journalism in action. Hashtag be brave. Uh, so right there, it's, it's streaming and Disney is trying everything they can. Of course, Disney owns ABC News. Uh, this is a really bad, bad situation right here. A good situation, but... cover-up story. Uh, the ABC News tape is just blowing up. This is certainly the biggest story Project Veritas has ever broke. But interestingly enough, we still have insiders, that's plural, within ABC News. And they just sent us the internal ABC memorandum, which I have pasted into a Microsoft <laughs> Word document in front of me. This is from the ABC Affiliate Relations and Marketing Department. It's addressed to the ABC Affiliates. I'm going to read it to you. Quote, This morning, there was an internet post about ABC reporting on the Jeffrey Epstein case. In response to inquiries, we are issuing the statements below from James Goldstone and Amy Robach. That's the president of ABC News. That's the statement you saw. But we also discovered something else that was interesting. In this internal memorandum where they're telling their affiliates what to say, it says, quote, at the time, not all of our reporting met our standards to air. We have not stopped investigating the story. Ugh. We discovered that this statement by ABC President James Golton is identical to the statement they gave uh, 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 in August. Quote, this is an NPR quote that they gave to NPR from a ABC News spokeswoman Heather Riley. Quote, at the time, not all of our reporting met our standards to air. but We never stopped investigating the story. So the statement they gave in response to the video today is identical to the statement they gave to NPR in August. It's just corporate gobbledygook. Yep. It's not relevant to the issue at hand. Yep. They're not being sincere. Nope. They're not actually giving us any new information. They are caught with their pants down. Now, interestingly enough, this internal memorandum saying, please 
there's an internet post about ABC News and Epstein. It says, please reach out to your station relations representative with any questions. Regards, John L. Rouse, Executive Vice President of ABC. You know, this is, this is, pretty, this is pretty bad for them. I mean, Amy comes across very well on the tape. Uh, we've got more coming out, and we are just getting started. If you're on the inside, there are new insiders coming to us right now. Please send us a note. ProjectVertas.com slash Brave. Love it, man. I love it. I love it. Uh, they are running scared. And this is what happens when you virtue signal. This is what happens when you build your entire company culture off of fake, phony bullshit like this. And now you are getting exposed and it is beautiful. Jeffrey Epstein was a horrible person. I don't even want to call him a human being. That's how disgusting this man was. And so many powerful men knew so much about the disgusting acts. And it has been pointed to the Clintons and so many others. And if you're still believing that Hillary and Bill and the Clinton family are not horrible, horrible, horrific human beings, I cannot have a conversation with you. I can't take you seriously. This is absolutely unbelievable, and it's great to see what Project Veritas is doing. Um, there's no doubt about it that the powers that be are wanting to silence this story. I'm pretty sure that this video is going to run into some trouble, but we're just going to post it and see what happens. This is really bad. Right now, trending in the U.S., Amy Robach is trending. Um... Here's Tim Pool. So now that ABC News anchor Amy Robach has said, uh, so I don't think that he was killed 100%, is it still a conspiracy theory if someone says Epstein didn't kill himself? Or should I trust our mainstream media? Boom, boom, boom. Man, this is, get, this is getting good. This is getting good. There's Mark Dice on it. Uh, ABC News anchor Amy Robach sounds like, like sounds exactly like Alex Jones in the Project Veritas clip, saying she thinks Epstein was murdered and her network covered up his pedofi pedophile network for years. Will Twitter ban her for spreading conspiracy theories and hate speech? Oh my God, that's a <laughs> that is a beautiful tweet right there. That is absolutely beautiful. Um. Oh yeah, of course. I was caught in a private moment of frustration. Give me a break. If you've got a camera in front of you in a studio with a mic, you're not in private. What a bunch of baloney. Own it, Amy. Shame on you, ABC News. God bless the victims. Absolutely. How can you, how can you say, like, look, again, that was my point about, look how comfortable she is. Look how comfortable she is when she's saying it and um like look at and then alan dershowitz was also implicated in because of the planes so she told me everything she had pictures she had everything she was in hiding for 12 years we convinced her that to come is out we convinced comfort. her to talk to us um it was unbelievable what we had clinton we had everything i i tried for three years to get it on to no avail and now it's all coming out and it's like these new rele revelations and I freaking had all of it. I, I, I'm so pissed right now. Like every day I get more and more pissed because I'm just like, oh my God. We, it was, um, what, what we had was unreal. Other women backing it up. Hey, yep. Brad Edwards, the attorney. But she wants to claim that that was a private moment. Oh, whatever, man. Anyway, great job to pro great job to Project Veritas and James O'Keefe. I love it. Um, we need to continue to expose the mainstream media. This is why the mainstream media is dying. This is why people turn to independent content creators like so many of the people that I follow. Uh, Tim Pool, The Quartering, so many great channels out there doing great work, and uh, you know it's it's appreciated. And and the mainstream knows that they're dying, and they know that they're being caught by independent media because. Independent media, we're not controlled by anybody. We're just saying what we think, and we're giving it to you uh, just like we would if we were talking to our friends. You know, we're just talking to the camera in that same fashion. There's no production here. There's no notes. There's no teleprompter. There's no talking points. There's no overarching narrative or theme. It's just people being real. So anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. 
Thank you guys for continuing to stay subscribed to this channel, even though I haven't been posting anything. Uh, but again, if you want to see more content, like the video, share the video, comment below, and help it get some traction. Thank you very much for checking out this video, and we will talk to you later.